shake my booty. I don't know. I can't really shake my booty. I have no ass. I really do. I have nothing. I sit down. It's right on the asshole. It's tough. It's hard being me. Like, I gotta watch where I sit and stuff, you know? Put it this way. I'm not gay, but I'm also not a virgin. Look, man, I wasn't paying attention. Neither the seat. Sat down. I was dating someone, she was, she was an ass eater every day. You ever hear that? Every day ass eater? It's pretty nasty, huh? That's all this girl wanted to do is eat the ass. Stick in the BJ going right to the ass. That's too much. Well, it is, it's a lot. It can't be a go to sex move. You can't pull off ass eating anywhere. This was pre-pandemic. I feel like right before the pandemic, ass eating was at an all-time high. It was. Like every other morning, they were eating ass. But when I first heard about that pandemic, I was like, of course, everyone's out there eating each other's assholes. What do you think's going to happen? Jesus Christ. You can't just be eating ass like that. I think God like, gets a little annoyed sometimes. I think God just looks down and he's like, oh, shit, they're eating <laughs> what am I saying? Locust, pandemic, here, take this man. Jesus Christ, get it together. Can't be a go to sex mode, you know? God knows. But this girl, that's all she wanted to do, is, I guess. <laughs> but I liked her, you know? You want to please your lady, but, you know, I don't know, sometimes I just can't get my ass eaten, you know? I want it. I want to pass in January. It's weird. <laughs> But you want to please your lady. Like, I didn't know what the etiquette was. Like, I never dated someone who's an everyday ass eater. <laughs> Anybody else? Just me, of course. <laughs> but, like, I didn't know what I'm supposed to be doing back there, you know? I don't know what the table is. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm walking around with wet naps in my pocket. <laughs> and that's a lot. That's like a whole new thing I gotta carry around. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much for me to handle. The accessories. And here's the thing, like, I did not know where to buy wet naps. So every time we'd go out to dinner, I would just order the ribs. <laughs> I was tired of eating ribs, man. <laughs> I gained, like, 25 pounds a day. Like, yeah, every time she would go to the bathroom, I would just pull the service. I'd be like, more wet naps, please. <laughs> One time the server got on, she just looked at me. She was like, ass eater? I was like, every day. <laughs> I was like, under the booth. Oh I was like, it's too much, you know. I gave her all this weight. She's like, well, why don't you get the wings? I'm like, look, she don't do spicy. Why don't we go in? One time I'm sitting there eating my ribs. I look up at her. She's got pink eye. I'm like, what am I eating these ribs for? <laughs> Then I put it together, I was like, oh man, she must be cheating on me with a guy that's not eating ribs. Because <laughs> that's not for me, man. I'm buying wet naps, you know? <laughs> I know it. That's how I found out. That's just fun, man. But you think that would put me over the top? We, we got along, you know? It's really cool. I asked her to watch a movie. She's like, yeah, let's watch Human Centipede. I was like, you know what? We're done. I love you. It's great, but I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Now, now I got a family. <laughs> you know, me and my girlfriend, we got a baby. We did nine months for traditional. <laughs>